Hey guys, what is going on? This tutorial is going to be on how to build your very own bot on the Discord developer portal. Now, why would you need a bot, you might ask? You might be watching my video because you want to create Pokemon or an Animal Crossing bot for your Discord server. Now, you have to go through these steps in order to create your own bot and get your bot token in order to do so. Now, knowing this will help you in the future if you want to create a bot for any other needs or tools as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, you will need to have a Discord account in order to do this, and I would assume you already have one if you're watching this video. Next, you'll need access to the Discord developer portal. The simplest way is to type it into Google and it will be the very first result that pops up. Now, once you click on it, you can go ahead and bookmark this page for future reference. Once you do log in, you'll see the main page like you do on mine. Now, on the top left, you'll see something where it says applications. Go ahead and click on that and all of your applications are going to be listed here. Now, let's go ahead and create our very own bot. Once you click on new application, you want to go ahead and name it. Now I'm going to go ahead and call it Mocha Frappe just for fun. And let's go ahead and click on create. Now once you do, you're going to get to a page where it says the general information. On the left, you'll see there are more tabs such as OAuth, Bot, Rich Presence, and App Testers. Now the first thing you want to do is go ahead to the bot tab on the left and you'll see a page where it says if you want to build a bot. Now go to the right and click on the option where it says add bot. Once you do it, it will prompt you if you want to add a bot to this app and you just want to go ahead and click on yes do it. Once you do, you have officially taken your first step and created your very own bot. One thing I like to do right away is just add a little profile icon so it reflects what the bot is supposed to do. If you have a logo, you can go ahead and set it here. Now I did just grab this random image of a coffee frap off of Google. Please don't do that. Make sure you put in your own image here and not something that's copyrighted. Now on the same page, if you scroll down, you'll see some options. The first one would be public bot. It's ticked on by default, and this means that anyone will be able to add your bot to their own server. Now, if you don't want this to happen and want to use this bot solely for yourself or your own server to keep it exclusive, then make sure that you uncheck this. If you're watching my video for Pokemon and or ACNH bot creation, keep this unchecked because you don't want other people to grab your bot unless you want to share it with them. Now you can go ahead and ignore this next one and let's continue onwards to privileged gateway intents. For the purpose of this video, I won't be going over what these do. It's your responsibility to read through what presence intent and server members intent mean. But just note that if you enable these and your bot ends up in over 100 servers, then you will require verification of your bot and approval in order to use them. But as long as it's under 100 servers, it will be fine. Now once again, if you're watching my video for ACNH and or Pokemon, you can go ahead and tick these on. Now same goes for message content intent. Make sure to read what it's for and if you like, um, if you feel like you need it for your bot, feel free to go ahead and tick it on. Now once you're done, you can go ahead and save your changes. The next important thing that you need when creating your bot is to retrieve your bot token. Now as you can see, I don't see the bot token as it's hidden. It does give me an option to reset the bot token. Now once you do this, you'll see that your bot token and you should jot it down somewhere safe. Otherwise, you'll have to reset your bot token if you forget it. Now, what's really important is that no one should know your bot token, so please do not give it out for any reason. Now, the next basic thing you want to do is to be able to add the bot to your dedicated server. Now, let's go ahead to the left tab and click on OAuth2. Now, once you do, you'll see two options. One says general, one says URL generator. Now, let's go ahead and click on the URL generator. Once you do, you'll see an embed that talks about scopes. What you want to do is go ahead and click on the bot icon and you want to go ahead and tick off applications.commands since discord is moving towards slash commands in the future for all bots now once you selected these two you'll have to click on which bot perms you want it to have now you can give it administrator permissions and it would encompass everything in this list however having a bot with administrator authority is definitely not recommended if you don't trust the source or creator 
Now, if you're watching my video for creating Pokemon and or ACNH bot, then go ahead and click on the following permissions. Now, the ones that I give mine are send messages, uh, send messages in threads, manage messages, uh, embed links, attach files, read message history, mention everyone. Uh, some bots might let you use external emojis and use slash commands. Now, these are the ones that I tick off. You don't necessarily need even all of these. It depends if you're trying to recompile your bot to better necessitate for whatever that you need in your server. Now, once you do, you'll see on the bottom that there is a generated URL. What you wanna do is go ahead and copy this and put it into your browser and you'll have an invite link for your bot into your server. As you can see, it opens up a page and it will give you an option to add it to a server. Now that's all there is to creating a bot on your server. Just note that this is just a super basic tutorial and it is more geared towards my viewers who need help in creating a bot for ACNH and Pokemon. Now, these steps should still be helpful to newbies who are just trying to navigate through the developer portal. So hopefully it does help you out. Now that does sum up this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.